Hi everyone, I'm Isha and for this video, we're going to review the new release of product ni Chuchu Beauty which are their matte bombs. And you guys probably know that I'm not a fan of bullet types of lipsticks so this is going to be very interesting. And kung magbabalik loob ba ako sa pagmamahal ko sa mga bullet types of lipsticks kasi syempre doon tayo nagsimula. Let's see! First of all, nagustuhan ko yung packaging na kanilang PR kit kasi sobrang sleek, maliit lang, and very cute and egg-friendly. Open na natin to to see you what's inside. So once we open it up, ang una ko talagang tinignan are the leaflets inside. So, ito unay nakita ko, very curious ako. So, may letter from the CEO and founder of Chuchu Beauty. And may included din ng mga stickers sa kanilang compilation set. Mamaya, malalaman nyo kung bakit. <laughs> Lastly, is this poster kung saan makita mo lahat ng mga shades. And basically, that's it. Wala masyadong description about the product. Gusto ko pa naman sana malaman yung mga key ingredients niya. How is it different to other matte lipsticks? Wala eh. So, magre-research tayo. Moving on to the products itself. Yung box or yung packaging ng lipstick mismo ay very simple. Wala masyadong arte. Ganun naman talaga si Chuchu Choo Beauty. And of course, you will see the logo sa box. A brief description about the product. How to use yung mga ingredients niya. Mga expiration date. And syempre, the shade name. Yung packaging naman ng lipstick mismo, para siyang plastic na medyo smoky. I don't know how to describe. Let's talk about the prices. So this whole thing, this PR kit cost $1,599 with all of the nine shades. But if you buy it individually, it only cost $199 pesos. Sobrang mura nun for 3.8 grams of product. For the shades naman, as you can see, parang tatlo lang siya. So, merong tatlong pinks, tatlong peach, may tatlong browns. So far, yung nakikita ko ng downside when it comes to their packagings, itong hawak ko ngayon, are the pinks na shades. Kala nyo, iisang shade lang to, pero hindi. Magkakaiba silang tatlo. Pare-parehas ng packaging. All you have to do is to check yung ilalim para sa shade name. So, doon tayo medyo may hirapan, no? Kaya, merong sticker na included para malagay mo yung sticker, ma-differentiate mo which is switch. Now, iswatch na natin siya sa braso. <laughs> Very normal at first swipe, wala masyadong pigment pa na napupunta sa braso. But second, third, it's fine na. Very pigmented na yung mga colors. At magkakaiba talaga yung shades nila. Medyo napansin ko lang na si Peach Fizz and si Classic Coral ay medyo the same. Yun lang yung kote. Magkaiba lang sila ng undertone. So, try na natin sila on my lips now. Hindi ko pa ito nasa-swatch. So, this will be my first impression review about these products. Munti ko na makalimutan about the description of this product. But this is a non-drying matte lipstick that delivers a rich color payoff in a silky, smooth, ultra matte finish. So, check na natin. But first, I'll remove yung aking lip balm. Sana prepared yung labi ko dito kasi yung labi ko talaga in general is dry. First ko yung swatch is this smoke mug. Ngayon ko lang siya naamoy. It smells like crayon. Okay, kumulay agad siya. Very pigmented. Nabuo niya kagad yung kulay. Oh. Wala siyang iniwang part ng labi ko na walang shade. So, this is really mauve. In fairness, hindi naman niya na-accentuate yung aking dry lips. Na-crack at the moment. <laughs> Okay naman siya, bagay siya sa purple blush ko ngayon. Pero hindi ako sanay sa gantong shade sa lips ko. Dali niya matanggal ah. Just patting on yung foundation brush ko kanina. Maghahanap din ako actually sa kanilang Instagram or Shopee account yung brief description about the shades. Pero wala. And let's try Mellow Wine. Mm, this is nice. Kulay na kulay siya agad, sis! Ano na, hindi mo na kailangan na sobrang daming layers to get that pigmentation sa labi. Tsaka walang napupuntang lipstick sa ngipin, ah. <laughs> K 
kitang kita kagad sa lipstick yung, yung dry lip part ko. Next shade is Bridal Bloom. An MLBB shade. This is a super nice shade. Feeling ko arbo rin sa akin to ng kapatid ko. Binlot ko lang siya. May naiwan pang stain ng color. Ang matagalan ata tong lipstick na to. Wait lang, minumura na ako ng labi ko. Those are the pink shades. Move on na tayo sa peach shades. Starting with peach fizz. A peachy nude shade siya. Kaya parang mas manipes ang formula nito. May masyado na color yung dark perimeters of my lips. Kala ko tong shade nito ay hindi ba bagay sa morena. Pero ang ganda rin yung sa akin, ha? Another wearable shade for everyday. Pagod na yung labi ko. But it actually feels more moisturized now kaysa nung nag-start akong mag-apply ng lipstick or mag-squatch pala. Next shade is Classic Coral. Ito yung sabi ko kanina medyo similar dun sa Peach Fizz pero may konting difference pa rin. Yeah, this is peachier. Kanina, mas pink. At para mas gusto ko tong shade na to compare dun sa Peach Fizz. Alam nyo, ang lambot-lambot niyang i-glide on sa lips. Hindi katulad ng mga sobrang mat na parang hirap na hirap mag-swipe sa labi. Ito hindi. Madali siya i-glide on. Lumilipat kagad yung color. But it still looks really matte sa labi. Yung ganda nito, kung everyday na MLBB, ganyan. Next is Retro Brick. I think this is the darkest shade sa collection. And then, ito rin yung pinaka-red. Okay, hindi maganda yung pagkaka-apply ko. Pero, mm, super red. Brick red. Pero, in fairness, ito yung red na trip ko. Ay. Ooh. Palaban na shade. So, that is the last peach shade. Next is brown shades. Starting off with 80s brown. Ganda ng kulay. Ala. Oh my gosh, tumambing yun yung lipstick. Natunaw siya. What happened? Kita ko lang may sugat dito sa ano eh. Tunaw na siya. Laga, gala. Ganda pa naman ang shade. What's happening, look? I think ito yung favorite shade ko so far. Next shade is Nude Affair. Ay, yung ganda rin itong shade na ta. Parang this is a themed shade ng kanina. Ganda rin yung shade. Very pang everyday for me. Yung walang makeup or may makeup. Isa na lang. Kaya pa. Last shade to swatch is Take Page. I think this is too nude for me. I think dapat ng kasumukoy eyes ka. Or maganda to para sa mga mestiza. Finally done with the lip swatches. Okay pa naman yung labi ko, to be fair. And on my lips today is a mixture ng huli natin ginamit, which is Baked Page, plus I topped it off with Nude Affair. Speaking of shades, ano nga ba yung favorite shades ko? Kung pipili ako, isa sa pink, isa sa peach, isa sa brown. For pink, I will choose the Mellow Wine. Sa peach, si Coral Classic. And sa brown, si Nude Affair. Gusto ko talaga sana si 80s brown pero tumabingi na talaga siya parang matunaw na ewan. Nakakatakot nang i-apply sa lips kasi baka maputol na siya. So in totality, what do I think about this matte balm from Chuchu Beauty? So totoo naman yung description nila that it is non-drying kasi even after swatching all of the nine shades, okay pa yung lips ko as in it feels moisturized. Parang na-less nga yung pagkakrack niya at moment. Rich color payoff din. One swipe lang, may kita mo na kagad yung shade. Buong buo na siya on the lips. No need for second coat, third coat, pigmented na agad. Silky smooth but ultra matte finish. Oo, kasi as you can see, it's very matte. So, good tayo doon. Good tayo sa formula. Non-drying matte talaga siya. Tapos, sobrang mura pa. For only 199, isang peraso. Pag binili mo yung bundle na 9 shades, 
1,599 lang. Parang katumbas lang yun ng one high end brand ha. Tapos yung shade range pa ay maganda, pwedeng pang araw-araw at I think babagay sa lahat. Parang MLBB yung shades pero at least may red. Our top of my mind, ang naiisip ko lang na negative about these product is the packaging. Why? Dahil nakita ko nyo nga kanina, itong dalawa, same packaging but different shades. So titingnan mo pa nga yung ilalim for the shade name or lalagyan mo ng stick. Tapos kailangan mo tandaan kung ano yung sticker dun sa shade. Tsaka yun nangyari lang kay 80s Prop. But nonetheless, I like these products. Gagamitin ko siya ulit, definitely. Pag mga ganito lang, pag nasa bahay lang ako, may mga Zoom meetings lang ako, may mga live streams lang ako, gagamitin ko sila definitely. But, if I will use them kung lalabas ako, hindi. For the sole reason na hindi siya transfer proof. So, magta-transfer siya sa mask. Tapos, most likely, kapag manggumask ka, baka kumalat siya on the outer perimeters of your lips. So, ingat lang pag gagamitin mo siya pag nakamask. It is nagta-transfer. Pero kahit marami nag-transfer dito sa likod ng kamay ko, buong-buo pa rin yung lipstick on my lips. Yun lang ba yung masasabi ko talaga about this? Wala na akong maisip na ipong masabi about the true true beauty. Yun lang talaga sis. So I think yun na yung first impression review ko and swatches of all the shades ng true true beauty matte pumps. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit thumbs up. Comment dyan sa baba yung favorite shade nyo na swinatch ko today. And kung meron pa kayong mga questions about anything, ilagay mo lang dyan. At kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, please to click the subscribe button dyan sa baba at katabi nun is the notification bell. So, i-click mo na rin yan para ma-notify ka whenever I upload a new video. So, that is it. Again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Isha. See you soon!